So my voice is a little bit husky because I've been drinking 10 to 12 cups of coffee a day and that does dry up my throat a little bit. But I wanted to do a quick video on a watch strap that I just received today. So it's really, can't say anything about long term use or anything like that. It's just a perspective on how it looks out of the box, how nice it looks on the watch and uh, to compliment the maker and how helpful and really nice he was communicating. Because for most people, if you want to buy a watch strap, it's really easy. You just go and buy a watch strap. But if you've got very large wrists and you can get a perspective by going and looking at any of this watch online review, the Ocean 39, and look how big it looks on people's wrists compared to my wrist, it looks quite small. And it's because my wrist is about nine and a half inch. So this is kind of a stock standard strap that you'd buy. This is a NATO strap. And uh, most of the reviewers you watch online, adults with a six and a half, seven inch wrist would be the average. You know, when they're putting one of these on, they'll go all the way down to there and click it in. And they've got all that room to run it through there and fold it back and it all looks nice. But on my wrist, I can just force that very last loop in and it's a pretty tight uncomfortable fit but I can make do. If I melt these two holes in I can actually make it fit my wrist but you don't have much tag to go through. So that's a standard watch strap and I was hunting around for weeks on end looking for straps like this that were bigger and uh, you know you can get divers models that are 17 inch which will go right out to here, but trying to find them in stock anywhere, really, really hard. And then one day <coughs> I came across this name on a watch forum and uh, there were lots of compliments for it, for rubber straps. And the good thing about Alex is that when you order it on his website and buy it, he then contacts you to find out what length you need it. So made to measure. And you can do these up to 32 centimeters rather than the standard uh, 21.5 centimeters most straps would be. So it's a bit out of view here, but to give you an idea, standard strap compared to my strap. And that gives me nice room to have a nice fold and be able to wear the wetsuit, etc., or pull it down and get a really comfortable strap. So it was amazing, great to be able to find someone so accommodating and to make it out of a good quality material. It's a nice rubber, it feels really good on the wrist. I've been wearing a smartwatch for a few weeks with silicon. The silicon 24 hours a day, not that comfortable. it would be interesting to see how comfortable this is long term, but straight away this is very comfortable on the skin. It's got it's not super thick. It's got a nice amount of stretch to it because it's rubber. See, so just in this short area here. So it's not like a rubber band, but it's got flex. So what that means is even when you cinch this pretty firmly, uh, it's going to flex with your skin and body as you swell and keep comfortable. But if you leave it a little bit loose, the rubber doesn't just slip and slide all around like the nylon ones do. Um, you know, when the watch is on this, especially a Zulu, it slides up and down. It can move out of position quite easily. The rubber tends to hold the watch really nicely. It doesn't just fly around. It sits where you put it on your wrist and really enjoy that. You don't get a lot of color choices. You get black, but you can get a lot of different hole patterns for breathability in human environments and then you can choose the stitching color and the hardware is really nice it's thick solid hardware the stitching looks really well done this does not look like something that's going to fall apart and uh, so I'm really happy with that so I bought a couple of different ones this is 22 mil this is 20 mil just so I could use it on some different watches and try it out and um, this is a G-Shock with strap adapters. 
that's my main swimming watch. It's really, really nice. And um, I actually ordered one of these planning to put it on this one. But the bracelet's a perfect fit, so that's not going to happen. This will be going on my new Seiko when it arrives. And I uh, have to say though, I really prefer the, the NATO. This holds the watch on really nicely. And I found it just sit better on the wrist as well. So I may order some more of these. This is one of my, I've had this for about six years. It's my Seiko diving watch. Don't recall the exact model number, but it was called the Stargate one because with the flat facing dials and the style of this, it kind of looks like Stargate. And uh, the strap really complements this watch. It looks amazing. I am finding though that I like the round dial on here for readability. So, um, so yeah, if you just want a really good rubber dive strap or just everyday strap, I can really recommend him. The price was good. I'll just fit the card in there one more time. So go to his website, have a look. He also does leather which looks nice, but I'm more of a rubber person. I'm always around the ocean, so leather's not my thing. All right, thanks for watching.